Hi, I'm John from Matchups Music and uh, welcome to our next in the series of uh, our how-to sessions. Um, it's basically uh, tips and advice in maintaining your instrument and getting the best out of it. Uh, you can see today that I'm not at the shop, I'm at my home workshop here. Um, and we're going to look at how to tune a guitar with an electronic guitar tuner. It is just me today, so you just have to bear with me. Um, but I'll do my best to uh, get you through tuning the guitar and, uh, and keeping it in tune as well. I hope it helps. Um, we'll just get over to the bench and I'll just shift this camera around and we can get cracking on it. Okay, so the tools we need today obviously is uh, a guitar tuner. So we've got here um, a real popular guitar tuner, clip-on tuner, that is the, uh, the Snark tuner. Um, <clears throat> so the first things we really need to know are the names of the different strings. So we have six guitar strings here, um, and they go from the lowest to the highest. Uh, in pitch, we have an E string, an A string, a D string, a G, B, and then a top E string. Okay, sometimes they're numbered from six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so um, we need to know those letters because when we are tuning a guitar, um, we'll pluck the low. E string here, you can't see the full guitar because uh, we're just using one camera, it's just me and myself today, so bear with me. Um, so as I pluck that lower string, you can see it's coming up with the letter D. Now, we want to be at E, so as we turn this tuning pair, you can see that I'm turning it anti-clockwise on this side. So we just keep gradually turning it anti-clockwise because we want it to go up in pitch. Now you can see on the tuner, there's the letter E. Here we go. But we want the needle in the middle here to be uh, illuminated. So as I turn that just a tiny bit there, we can see that the letter E is there and that uh, blue light is is in the middle there and that's showing that we've got the guitar in tune all right now you notice that i tuned up to the note as well it's always a good idea to tune up to the note because um what we can get at times is a little snag in the top nut if we for example if i tune this too high and then tune back down to the note And then if I pull on the string a bit, it goes flat. So what we need to do is basically tune up to the note and it always keeps it nice and stable. Okay. So what we then do is move to the next string and go to the note of A. So again, we're turning that peg anti-clockwise we're tuning up to the notes and the A string is there just let it settle and that's in tune then we go to the D string notes just a slight increment and then we move to the G now because where I'm facing it we're now turning this clockwise it's going clockwise to tune the notes up there we go and that's the G going to get to the note B, so we're just tuning up again. And 
and then the note of E. We're going to tune that up because we need to get to E. Okay, and what we can do is just stretch the string. You see, it's gone a little bit flat. Again, just lightly pulling up. Excuse the noise if you can hear my children in the background. My wife is looking after them, I've not neglected them. And we just double check, because they will slip a little bit, and we just... You can see that each one is tuning up a little bit. There we go. And the guitar's in tune. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Um, as ever, if you have any comments, then uh, please leave those below. Or you can always contact us via email at info, info at matchitsmusic.com uh, or you can give us a call, uh, all listed from the website there. Um, we're always more than happy to help you if you can just give us a call or whatever means you wish to uh, contact us, um, we're sure we can help you. Okay, many thanks. Bye for now.